Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these two smaller squares, this blue square AEFG and this green shaded square HKLM, fully confined in a big square ABCD, as you can see in this diagram, such that this BD is the diagonal of this big square ABCD. And moreover, the area of this uh, blue square has been given to us as 99 centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, blue square AEFG. I'm going to label its uh, side length since all the sides are same. So if this uh, side is lowercase a, then this side is lowercase a, lowercase a, and lowercase a across the board. And now let's focus on this uh, green shaded square. And once again, all the sides uh, are same. If this side length, if I label is lowercase b, then this side is lowercase b, lowercase b, and lowercase b across the board. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length. And now let's focus on this uh, blue square AEFG. Its uh, side length is uh, lowercase a, and the area has been given to us as 99. So therefore, we can write uh, A square is going to be equal to 99. And I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number one. And now let's focus on this uh, green shaded square HKLM, whose uh, side lengths are lowercase b. So therefore, the area of this uh, green square is going to become uh, b square. And since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded square, so therefore, we must find the value of uh, b square. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, square uh, A, B, C, D. And the B, D is the diagonal of this big square. So therefore, uh, the diagonal is going to divide uh, this uh, 90 degree angle into two parts. This angle is going to be 45 uh, degrees. And this angle is going to be 45 degrees uh, as well. And likewise, uh, this 90 degree angle is going to be divided into two parts. This is going to be 45 degree angle, and this angle is going to be 45 degrees as well. And now let's make an observation since we are dealing with this uh, blue square. So therefore, this angle has got to be 90 degrees, and likewise, this angle is going to be 90 degrees as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, DEF. We know the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. We know this is our 90 degrees. This angle is 45 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 45 degrees uh, as well. And now let's make an observation once again and focus on this triangle uh, DEF. We can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees as well. So therefore, we conclude if this uh, side length uh, is lowercase a, then this uh, side length uh, DE is going to be lowercase a as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other triangle uh, FGB. And we know this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 45 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 45 degrees uh, as well. And now we can see that this uh, right triangle uh, FGB is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, these both angles are congruent. Therefore, we conclude that if this uh, side length is lowercase a, then this uh, side length uh, GB is going to be lowercase a as well. And now let's focus on this uh, green shaded uh, square. And we can see both of these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees each. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle DHK. We know this angle is 45 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees. And now we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle, so therefore if this uh, side length is uh, lowercase b, then this uh, side length uh, 
dh is going to be lowercase b as well. And finally, let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, MBL. We know this angle is 45 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be 45 degrees. And now we can see that this uh, triangle is an isosceles triangle. So therefore, if this uh, side length uh, is uh, lowercase b, then this uh, side length uh, mb is going to be lowercase b as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this side length uh, ad is going to be a plus a is going to make it uh, 2 times a. And likewise, uh, this side length uh, ab is going to be 2a as well. And now we are going to focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, DAB. And we know its uh, side length uh, are uh, 2a and uh, 2a. And now we are going to calculate uh, this diagonal BD. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our two legs are 2a and uh, 2a. And this uh, BD is the hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So this is going to be 2a whole square plus likewise uh, 2a whole square equal to our hypotenuse uh, is uh, BD whole square. Let's simplify. So that means uh, BD square is going to be 8a uh, square. I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our BD length uh, turns out to be 2a times the uh, square root of 2. I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole diagonal uh, BD is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, individual lengths uh, dh, hm, and uh, mb. As you can see in this uh, given uh, equation, our dh length is lowercase b, hm length is lowercase b, and finally the length of this uh, mb is uh, lowercase b as well. So therefore our bd length is going to be lowercase b plus lowercase b plus lowercase b and let's simplify so our bd length turns out to be 3 times lowercase b. I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 3 and here we are ended up with this uh, equation 2 and 3 and now we are going to compare these two equations since both uh, are uh, bd on the left hand side so therefore we can equate the right hand sides uh, as well. So therefore we can write uh, 3 times b equals to 2a times the square root of uh, 2. And now we are going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate b. So therefore our b value is going to be 2 times a times square root of 2 divided by 3. And now I am going to take the square uh, on both uh, sides of this equation. So therefore uh, b square is going to be equal to 8 uh, times a square divided by 9. And now we can see from this equation 1 a square equal to 99. So therefore I am going to substitute uh, this a square value as 99 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted this a square value as 99 over here. And now we can see 9 goes into 99 11 times and 11 times 8 is going to give us 88. So therefore our b square value turns out to be 88. And now we know that uh, green square area is equal to b square and our b square value is uh, 88. So therefore our gets, uh, green square area is going to be 88 uh, centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, green square turns out to be 88 uh, centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.